Hey everybody, I'm Gareth. I'm one of the joint CEOs here at YMCA Exeter. Uh, some of you will know me from being around the building, uh, St. David's Hill. Some of you have never seen me before. Uh, so if you don't know me, hi. Lovely to see you. So I've been asked to put together this video um, about my experience of lockdown um, and how I've kind of kept positive through that. If I'm honest, I came into lockdown being very, uh, very upbeat, thinking this is fun, it's new, um, and that lasted a couple of weeks. Um, but that did wear off quite quickly, actually. Um, I think just the, the stripping out of any routine of my like my regular routine of, of walking to work, of, of having the time there with my teammates, and um, and all of those things really just made a massive difference to to my mental health. And after three weeks, I was in a place where. I'm just really quite stressed and grumpy. I wanted to share with you some of the things that I put in place just to, to help change that dynamic. Uh, it's still a struggle day to day, um, but building in some form of routine for me has been really important. So um, I've been focusing on making sure that we are, are getting up and firstly eating a good and, and healthy breakfast just to start the day well. Uh, I've got two young boys. So we, we read something at the table. We've been going through a great book at the moment called uh, Indescribable, um, which speaks a lot about so, some great, amazing facts about nature and science and things like that. My boys are amazed by it, but I'm learning so much from it as well. Uh, so just learning something like that just helps to, to make my, my cogs turn. Um, we've been getting out for loads of cycles. We're blessed to live in such a beautiful place where we can access the river. We can access so many cycle networks. Um, we even cycled down to Exmouth and back the other day, which was just just brilliant just to spend a couple of hours out and about um, in this beautiful weather that we've had. Uh, so yeah, so being active has been really important for me. I've also spent a lot of time in nature, so just sitting around, appreciating what's around me, appreciating the weather, appreciating plants and nature and, and fields the views that we can we can take in. So often in the city centre, uh, you can feel like you're just surrounded by, by buildings, but actually you only have to look up and see the hills in the background. Take a stroll down to the river, which is two minutes from you guys, and just see what's happening there and really appreciate your surroundings. Take note of what's around you. Um, one of the hardest things for me during lockdown was actually the, the limit of people around me. So I'm quite a, an extrovert. I like being around people. In fact, I'm energized by being around people. So with all of that being completely restricted, I found that really difficult. And it took me a while to get used to doing it in a different way. Um, and I've had to be quite intentional with my conversations. Um, in the past couple of weeks, I've really appreciated getting to know my neighbors. Some people I never talked to, people that I wouldn't usually uh, interact with. Uh, a lot of older people, a lot of kids that I wouldn't know as well, but we've uh, yeah chatted to them quite a lot. I've been really intentional with who I connect with uh, in my personal life too, so just reaching out to those special friends and people that I know really well that I don't usually have time to speak to in long, uh, long, really long conversations and things like that. So that intentionality has been super important for me that I have to do that several times throughout the week uh, to have long and in-depth conversations with people just so I can feel like I'm still a part of their life, that um, that I can be accountable to people and vulnerable with people as well and talk about my feelings uh, in a space that is, is free to do that in. So I'd encourage you to take on any of these. If any of the, the stuff I've talked about is helpful, then yeah, give it a try. Um, the only other thing that I have found super helpful is music. So. I'd encourage you again to, when you're in your room and there's nothing else to do, if you're anything like me, quiet is not a helpful thing. Um, my mind wanders in all sorts of directions. So having some decent music, uh, and I've found so many new artists and songs through YouTube um, and Spotify over the past couple of weeks. So just those songs that feel uplifting, that feel like they raise your spirit a little bit, they um, improve your mood. So. There's my, my thoughts on how you could cope during lockdown. Hopefully we're going to see an end to this in the not too distant future. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.